guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video girl we are gonna be testing out two foundations today so i wanted to try out this foundation for one of my subscribers on my channel asked me about the Too Faced Bond This Way matte foundation and the original. If you guys miss my video on the Bond This Way matte foundation, I will put it over here so you guys could take a look at that. In that video, I really think that this foundation was so dark and I think I picked up the shade Chai. So I really wanted to try it out because I asked you guys if it was too dark and one of, one of my subscribers did say that it was dark. Thank you because I thought so as well. So this time around, I picked up both shades, Chestnut, and we're gonna try both of them out. But this time around, I think I got my shade, I'm not sure. I got the shade Chestnut, and this is on detectable medium to full coverage and is oil free but i think one is a little bit more darker than the other one so this foundation we all know this one is matte and it's oil free oil control waterproof transfer resistance now this has more claims than the original the original don't have a lot of claims it's not waterproof or anything like that but it is oil free okay and it's also medium to full uh, this one is 24 hours, but when I use this, I did get a, a full coverage, okay? So you guys see the bottle, both of them are different, like really, really short, like you guys see. So I'm really excited to try this foundation out because I really want to see how both of them works for me. Let's just swatch this one. Like I said, both of them are chestnut, so we're going to see the difference. So this is... The first one and I think one of them is a little darker than the other one okay so this is the original and this is the matte one they do feel the same though and the shades look the same as well so I'm gonna keep it on my hand to see if it's gonna oxidize hopefully it don't oxidize too much okay so to prep the face i'm gonna use something different today and you guys know i love my elf stuff that's the only thing that i have so far but i have this sample here from first aid and this is the coconut skin smooth priming moisturizer and i'm just gonna take that and put it on my face Oh, I was trying to figure out if I should use a matte primer on this side but I don't have any matte primer so everything that I have for my face is just based on my skin type so we're just gonna go with the luminous putty primer this is from elf if you have dry skin this is like so good for dry skin guys and it has this little gold effect to it it's just beautiful like don't be gonna spend no money on expensive stuff for your face guys like elf is there it's only three to six bucks so the matte one looks like it's drying out a little bit faster than the original one so i want to see if it's gonna be like super matte on my skin because when i had it on my face i didn't feel, i didn't feel any tightness or anything like that so it would be really good to see how this feels on my hand original one looks hydrated still it's only been like five minutes so i'm gonna use the original one first so let's just take a little bit and put it here this is only one pump and this brush here is from i think this is from sodono list i got this from target so i'm gonna take this side and do this real quick So I think this shade is gonna work a little bit much better for me. I think like the other one was so dark. And this here is just one pump, okay? I'm gonna take another pump and over again. Like I know this foundation uh, is pretty old, but I wanna know if you guys ever try this out. Like in the past, But this is how this one is looking, guys. I don't want to put too much. Actually liking this coverage. So I'm just going to keep it like this. I'm going to keep it on a medium coverage. So this is what the medium coverage looks like. The other side, I'm going to be using the Shaney Cosmetic Brush. 
and this is the m33 and this is a powder brush i use this as a foundation brush because it's a little bit more on the thick side so let's just see what the matte one looks like okay so we're gonna take one pump and then we're gonna see if we need to build this up so they both look the same shade so they both look the same shade because putting on my face i'm seeing like it's look a little bit more darker and i'm gonna take a little bit more put over here i'm also gonna take the little bit left and put over here because since this is more on the thicker side it looks like it's more on the thicker side to me The, both of them look smooth i feel like this one the matte finish is a little bit more on the darker side and i'm not sure if you guys seen it but that's just the way it looks here and it feels a little bit more thicker on my skin i think i'm not going to try to build this up i'm just gonna leave it like this okay so this is the matte finish and this is the original hydrating finish so i really didn't put too much of this one but let me just come back a little bit and so you guys could see what exactly it looks like i don't even know right now but i'm liking the matte formula a little bit more better than the original i like this one because there's more coverage than this side so let's just go ahead and put a little bit more a little bit more you know i'm gonna put this much just to get a little bit more coverage It matches my skin pretty good. I just like it. I just want to see which one I like better. Okay, so I'm going to use a different concealer today. This here is from Beauty Bakery. And this is Insta Bake 3-in-1 Concealer. And this is the shade Sugar Daddy. And I'm just going to take put that here. I'm going to be using this powder from Laura Mercier. This is a translucent powder and it's just a white powder. I like using my brush for this type of step. So I'm going to take a little bit and put here. And this brush is also from BH Cosmetics. I like using my brush for this step. It just works a little bit much better than the sponge for me. Okay, so for the contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. And this is Mahogany. So I'm not going to put too much of the bronzer because I don't know if foundation is going to oxidize. So I don't want to put like too much of it. I'm going to take a little bit of the matte foundation and put over my lip area. I don't, I'm not getting any coverage. I guess because I didn't put a lot of it. Okay, so I'm going to be using a different setting spray today. This is from Revolution and this is the XX Hydro Fix. This is the finished look. So I just did something simple because it's all about the foundation, not about the eyes or anything like that. So with everything sell into the skin, it looks the same, okay? It looks good. I really do like the shade. I have the matte and the original on my hand. I love the original. If you have dry skin, I recommend that you guys stick with the original. The matte one is really matte on my skin, like it's dry, but I don't feel it on my face. So that's two different things. But I just wanted to show you guys, it dries down to matte, okay? The hydrating one, it feels really nice on my hand. And I could tell you guys, like you see right here, it's not transparent, okay? Matte one, it is transparent. You like really don't see anything. So this helps a lot to make my decision which one that I want to keep. Both of them blends out the same. But what I did realize that the matte one is a little bit more thicker 
than the hydrating foundation. But when it's selling into the skin, you really can tell which one is which. So I did get a medium coverage with both of them. Both of them match really well. Yeah, I don't see anything on my hand. Like it's just, it's a really good foundation. Yeah, I am getting a little bit of transfer with the original, but if you have oily skin girl and you want a foundation that don't move, just spend the money on this. You're not going to regret it. Like, so the time now is almost 12 o'clock. It's 1151. So I want to leave it on maybe until one o'clock. Okay. So I had this foundation on for two hours and I really love this foundation. Okay. No one would know that I have two foundation on because it just looks so good on my skin. If you're on the oily side or combination to oily skin, you're going to really like this. This thing do not move girl. Now the normal shade, uh, which is more for dry skin, you guys see that it gives me a little glow right here. That's the most that I got from it but i still do like it it will transfer and i expect this to transfer because this is more on the luminous side so this is a matte side i am getting a little separation right over by the lip here and you see on the other side which is the luminous side i really don't get a lot of creasing it's just a little one right here if i have to pick one i will pick the normal one just because it's a little bit more luminous it just makes my face look a little bit more dewy like if i want a matte finish foundation i'll definitely like pick this out i really don't have a lot of matte foundation because i because i give them away but i do like this it's not that matte actually yes it could last for 24 hours if if you want to go to that route but i still do like it if you guys want to pick any one of these out you can it's up to you i'm happy that i tried this foundation again because this is a great foundation even though it's a matte finish it works really good for my skin so it all depends on you let me know in the comments below what you guys think about both of this foundation which one you guys prefer i will see you guys in my next video bye